What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna create this brush stroke see-through image kind of thing you see on screen here. It's super simple and a lot of fun to create. Now, right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the content. You can also jump down into the description to check out the Instagram, Twitter, and Discord channel. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have cool music for your videos too. Let's get started. Okay, so we have this image inside of Photoshop. This image you can actually download. It's completely for free from unsplash.com to follow along. So download the image and we'll get going. And also, you'll have to download a brush pack for Photoshop. So check the description, download those two things, and let's get started. Now, when you download the brush pack and extract the file, have a little brush icon file. The file looks something kind of like this. This is not the brushes we're using, but you will download the link from down below. Now, when you download the brush file and you extract it, let's import it really quick. Grab the brush icon right here on the left side of Photoshop, click down on this arrow, click this little icon right here and do import brushes. From there you can actually grab the file and import your brushes. Okay, so we have our photo inside of Photoshop right here. Now what we wanna do real quick is actually duplicate it. Um, we also have a layer zero right here that is just a white layer, no big deal. Let's put this layer on top and hide it for now. Okay, now grab this layer and turn on the mask right here. Click this button and now there's a mask. Now, as we can see that there is a black background over here um, by clicking this, let's do control backspace, which blacks it out because we turned everything black technically, which deleted, not deleted the image, but kind of hid the image. Now what we can do is actually turn this image on to see what we're missing when we actually paint on this. So let's go to our brushes, the brushes we just downloaded, the Free Painter Photoshop Brushes 3, and let's grab brush 34. And right here, as we can see, it's really large. Let's scale it down a little bit to about this many pixels. And uh, let's make sure we're highlighting this little black thing right here and our paint color is set to white. And let's just paint on this person. Now we can turn off this top layer. This top layer was really just a guide for us. So let's do that. Um, let's grab a different brush and start painting. This one looks pretty good. Um, let's scale it down a little bit, not too bad. Let's hold right on our keyboard to turn it to actually paint, give some like brushy brush strokes. Let's turn it this way, and paint across her face. And I'm kind of just doing this live. I'm just making it up as I go. No worries. Let's grab a different brush real quick. It's a little too big. And I'm just kind of trying them out as I go. I mean, it, it doesn't matter too much what they look like. And you can kind of play around with it. That's what's the beauty of Photoshop. And if you mess up, just hit backspace. Let's make sure her body's covered up nice. Not too shabby. Now let's grab our move tool and move this layer towards the center. Next, what we wanna do is actually create a new layer. Um, make sure, let's select this color on our background color. It's kind of a, like a textured painting canvas color or hit okay. And then control backspace. Next, what we wanna do is actually grab our shape tool and let's hold shift and drag out a circle, a perfect circle. Grab the ellipse and let's move it. What we can do is actually uh, hit a con control T or command T, hold alt or command, and then scale it up. Let's make sure it's in the center of the image. Click the check mark, uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Convert to smart object and let's blur it up. Uh, take the opacity and turn it down. Next, what we want to do is actually create some text. Let's grab our text tool and then type out, let's say, style. Now, I am using a font called Cookie. You can look it up online or I'll leave a link down below for you to download it, if I can find it. Let's scale it up by holding Command or Alt. Let's move it here and let's make sure it's in front of all of our layers. Looks pretty good and I called it style because I guess that could be like a photo like this. Next up, what we want to do is actually go to Layer, Layer Style, and then Enter shadow and set your settings to mine right here it gives you this like yellowish inner shadow now what we want to do is turn on drop shadow and my settings are set to this right here you can copy these over to get the exact same thing I'm doing here next up we can actually uh, grab our crop tool right here go to ratio one by one square and let's scale it down for that nice Instagram look. 
This is our Instagram square. You could always change it later. And if you didn't change it back up and make sure delete cropped pixels is not turned on. From here, we can highlight everything, including the back layer, and then right click and then do convert to smart object. Go to filter, camera raw filter. From here, we can actually increase the saturation or decrease the saturation, whatever you prefer. Uh, increase the contrast, make everything pop a little more, increase the clarity. Go to effects, increase the grain, give it that really photo look, and then click OK. And there you have it, you have a finished piece. As always guys, I'm Max, thank you for watching this video, thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.